This is Tekker 911, Episode 8, TI Emulation. Hi, I'm Michael Plasmar. And I'm Mike Dovin. And as every high school student I know, I have a TI-83. See, we all have one. Mine's colored in around the edges. But I felt like it. You know, there's some days where, well, the TI, the TI is expensive. It's like 180 to 100 dollars. So why do you have to schlep it home every day? So yeah, instead, who needs it? no, I'm not going to chuck my calculator. So instead, we're going to show you how to use your TI-83 on your computer. So right here, we have our TI-83 running on our computer. This acts fully like a TI, just like the actual one. Let's do graphing. Click Y equals... Now let's type in X. Y equals X. You can just click the button and then graph. So right here, you have the... You have just... It showed Y equals just like a regular calculator, regular TI would without having to carry home this expensive calculator. So now you can leave it in your locker. Leave it, or use it in class. Over the summer, I wrote up a detailed review, which I believe is the only one on the internet, and it's at theplaz.com, T-H-E-P-L-A-Z dot com. And if you go here, tech, how to create a TI-83 plus ROM image, and I've written this long article about how to do it. So just follow along. You can follow along with us right now. The first thing you need is you're going to have to buy the Texas Instrument USB USB uh, graph link connector. It comes with a cable and a CD. Install all the applications on the CD and then back up your calculator. So we're going to show you how to do that. Your USB port. After installing all the software. Yeah, after installing, mine's been installed. You can plug it into the bottom jack, which you can also use to transfer programs between calculators. So first thing you want to do is back up. This is a good idea to do anyway in case your ca something ever happens to your calculator, all the games that you have it are, are saved. <laughs> or in my case, programs are right there, are very useful. Yeah, so you can find... Select device. Takes device. a little while. Yeah, it's... No, you select it, it's the USB one. Yeah, I did USB that. Select. select. Then you have to wait for it to... Yeah. It's kind of a slow interface, because these calculators are really old school, but they work yeah. well. They fun the program. So just push OK, and now it's <laughs> going to take oh, 105 a, things out of my calculator. It's going to take a while to transfer. So in the meanwhile, we're going to show you some software that you need. The two programs that you'll need is ROM 8x, which is a zip file to extract the ROM from your calculator, and Virtual TI 2.5 Beta 5. Another thing you need to install is the TI-83 plus operating system 1.12. That's what you need to use virtual TI 2.5. So once you've downloaded that, open up TI Connect. That's the software that came when you bought the cable. TI Device Explorer. And then you can go Tools, OS Downloader. Notice this will delete everything that you have on your calculator, so that's why we backed up ahead of time. So OS Downloader, you're able to uh, click Next and then find the OS that you're ready to download. Find it where you downloaded it. 1.12? 1.12. Got it. So then hit Start Download and it'll download the operating system to your calculator. So once while that's working, we're going to show you the next program that you're going to need to use ROM 8x so you just uh, download that's linked also from the plaza.com find ROM, ROM 8x 
extract that zip file. So after your calculator's OS has been downgraded, go to the ROM 8x folder and in the get subfolder you'll find this program G83PBE1. Right click on that and hit send to TI device. And then it should automatically select your calculator, the USB 1. And then click send. Take your calculator and hit second catalog and scroll to ASM. Oh, I forgot. ASM parentheses. Hit that, then go sec, or uh, no, just regular program and find that program you just transferred and hit enter to run that program. It should then say appvar d83pbe1 created. Click that. If you encounter any errors, look in the README for the ROM 8x program. Readmes are good. So once you've done those steps, reconnect your calculator to your computer. Open up TI Connect again to go to the TI Device Explorer. Wait for it to refresh. And then you should see here the second one, application variables. Click on the little plus. And there's the file, D followed by the model number of your calculator. Go file, copy to PC. Then open up the folder where you, have, where you downloaded ROM 8x2. That's it. Now hit select. And then it'll transfer over. This takes a while again. Meanwhile, you or when this is done, you can delete the app var and the program that you just transferred to your calculator. You can re meanwhile you can re-download the 1.9. That's the latest operating system version for your TI and restore it using TI Connect. You don't need your calculator anymore. So once you have the application variable, go start, run, and type in CMD and push enter. There, it's the old-fashioned Windows command prompt. You didn't need it, just open up a Word document. Now we got the GUI. So be glad. Yeah. Be glad you don't have to use this on a regular basis. So type in CD, that means change directory, space, and then slash. For this time, you have to use the special slash that's located above the enter key, one. but below the backspace key. Not this one. This forward yeah. slash and backward slash. They're totally different. So well, type in documents and settings. Well, depending on where you put the ROM 8x folder, in this example, we've put it on our desktop. And then another slash, your username, Problems. slash desktop, and then slash ROM 8x, and push enter. All right, now you're in the ROM 8x directory. Now type the following, ROM 8x, space. Now type your calculator model, in our case, 83. PBE, make sure P, B, and E are capitalized, space, dash U, space, and the name of the OS file, which should be in the ROM 8x directory. In this case, TI83P underscore OS underscore 1.12 period 88XU. Remember, if this is complicated, you can follow along on my article on theplaz.com. You. Push enter, and if all goes well, Yay. the ROM should be successfully created. If not, check out my article or check out the README in the ROM 8x folder. So now if you go back to the ROM 8x folder, you can type uh, exit and CMD or just close it. Now you'll notice this is the ROM file. This is what we went through all this trouble to get to. Get to. Redistributing the ROM file is illegal, so we're unable to give you a copy of it. If we but, could, we would, but we don't want to get sued. So. Now you need to extract the VTI zip file. So we have files that have been sold, so we can just go right-click and then extract the file. And then it'll create a directory in our desktop VTI. Open that. And then we go to the ROM file that we just created in the ROM 8x directory. And then we copy that file. You can just click, highlight it and hit Control-C. And then go back to the uh, VTI folder. Go. Paste the ROM file in there, then open up vti.exe, and now, there you go, there's your calculator. 
Also on my website, theplaz.com, I have several TI programs that will help you in math class. And also some several fun games. So that's all we have for today. If you can go to our website, 911.tecker.net, to watch this episode again. I know it's been long. And that will also have a link to my site and the article that I wrote. Also, on that site, you can subs subscribe to us in iTunes down here. Yeah, right there. Or just search in the iTunes store for Tekker911. Send us an email, Send us an email at 911.tekker.net to tell us not to do stuff as geeky as this anymore. Yeah. Or to or, get a good videotape. Yeah. Or you can call us at 610-572-2730. Why do you guys keep giving up my phone number? Jeez. <laughs> That's all we have for today. I know this was complicated. We're but. gonna make it easier next next episode is gonna be something easy, I promise. Yeah, alright. Because for our own sanity. Bye. See ya.